Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. Well, the big news, Stormy Daniels testified yesterday, and this is the epitome of outrage. And you know that I've gone off on Judge Mark Schweikert, I've gone off on Chief Justice O'Connor, and let me tell you something, and Judge Michael Barrett, let me tell you something. The fact that somebody puts on a black robe does not mean that they are an honorable man or woman. This judge, not to have dismissed this case way back when, and then to allow the harlot, the porn star, take the stand for the sole purpose of trying to humiliate the president. Good thing is, it ain't going to affect one single vote for him. But this is what this judge is doing. And then, oh, baby, baby, despite all the objections, loud testimony, he has put on the record, he has admitted his words, well, she was kind of hard to handle and keep her in control and blah, blah, blah. He's admitted his screw up. He admitted his decision to let her testify to those things led to too much mistrial. He's not going to grant the mistrial, but there's no way in hell that's not going to be a mistrial on appeal. But it's just outrageous. It's outrageous. None of this had anything to do with the charges, the bullshit charges, that Trump's charged with. Donald Trump has again reaffirmed his support of Michael Johnson, saying that he talked to Marjorie Green Taylor. Let it go. Marjorie Green Taylor's probably at a crossroads. Does she stay loyal to Trump or go her own way, led down that path by Thomas Massey? My opponent. We'll see. Boy Scouts of America is changing their name to Scouting America. You know what? First glance, I thought this was bad, but then I thought... The negative connotations from all the sex scandals, maybe it's a good move. Wendy's is closing 100 restaurants across the country. Wow. Indiana held their elections last night. Uh, all the expectants won, including Donald Trump. All right. Rikers Island. New York's Mayor Adams says they're ready to take Trump to Rikers Island if he's held in contempt or sentenced. Judge Cannon in Florida has paused the documents case indefinitely. Wow. 75% of those people that had COVID apparently were given antibiotics they didn't need. Unbelievable. Putin wants to buy Cuban soldiers. He's offered Cubans $2,000 and Russian citizenship if they will join his mill. That's, that's a sign about how bad he's needing troops. All right, NPR reporters can't make it up. NPR reporters crossed over from Mexico into our country without any ID, without anything, just walked on in. I guess it proved our point, not theirs. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.